In today's lab, we're going to experimentally determine the solubility product constant, or KSP value, for calcium iodate. So the calcium iodate solution that we are using is saturated, so based on the fact that it contains the highest concentration possible of the iodate, we're going to react the iodate and track the molarity of the moles and eventually the KSP. The reaction that go we're going to undergo is reacting the iodate with iodide. And we have an acidic environment. This, of course, is a redox reaction. The formation of iodine will be, an, as an, an intermediate, will be consumed, reacting with the thiosulfate to produce iodide. And once this reaction is complete, uh, there will be a visual indication, so we'll know when to stop titrating. So, our setup in our burette, our titrant is going to be 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfates. And in the reaction flask, we're going to add 10 milliliters of 1 molar HCl, again for the acidic environment. We're going to add 2 grams of the potassium iodide, and we're going to have some water. So, upon titrating, our solution will turn eventually kind of like a school bus yellow. At that point, we're going to add the starch solution. The starch in the presence of the iodine will immediately turn what near black or really, really dark blue. And then we're going to continue to titrate until that blue color disappears. Once that blue color disappears, that indicates then the lack of production of iodine. And we know that all the iodate has been used up. And then we stop and we take our volume measurement. So you should get about three trials and calculate the average volume used. And from that average volume, you're gonna go ahead and calculate uh, what the KSP is. And your theoretical KSP for this reaction uh, is 1.0 times 10 to the minus six. So go ahead and calculate a percent error. All right, so we're ready to start our titration. And in the flask, I went ahead and added the water, the calcium iodate, the potassium iodide, and the HCl. As soon as I added the, um, the HCl, we have this brown color here. And I'm going to start titrating with the 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfates. And we're not going to be graphing this, so there's no need to stop and record volume measurements in between. I just need to add increments and swirl. And once we get a yellow color, I'm going to add the starch. You can see the color lightening already. And now it's as good a time as any. So we've got our black color due to the presence of the iodine and starch. And now we are looking for the solution to clear up. Rinse the side walls a little bit. Probably adding about 0.2 to 0.3 milliliter increments. But as soon as I see lightning, I'm going to slow down and decrease the increment size. I think 
like it's starting to lighten a little bit. Oh, yep, definitely is lightening up. Just a couple drops to do it. And that's, we're going to call that clear. And that recorded volume. It's about just about 14, maybe a hair over. We're going to call it 15, 15 .0, 15.01 for trial one. Here we go with trial two. Probably needs another drop. And we're going to call that done. So our volume. by the meniscus. This is just about 15.1, maybe here over 15.11. All right, and here's trial three. Looks good. So we are just about fifteen between the first and second tenth. We'll call it fifteen point one two. 